In today's video, we're going to discuss the insertion of terminal strips in panel layouts and wiring diagrams. We'll start by moving to the SDS Panel WD ribbon tab and selecting on Insert Terminal Strip WD. The Insert Panel WD Terminal Strip dialog box opens where we fill out the appropriate information for the terminal strip. We'll enter the first starting number as 1 and a count of 36 separate terminals. Then we'll enter the tag strip name, in our case TA, and we can use any of the appropriate auto catalectrical tools such as the list option to find appropriate or matching uh, location codes to place in the drawing. In our case we'll use P201. In the lower left corner is where you set up the important tools for the wiring diagram annotation part of the terminal strip. We can mark the sides of the terminal to be internal or external, basically the left or the right side. This is important to know how the wire should be attaching to the terminal strip. In our case, we'll set it to left, which is on the outside of the terminal. Then we're going to orient our terminal in a vertical direction and start with reverse, meaning the numbers will start at the bottom and work their way up to number 36 at the top. In the catalog part number area, we can determine whether this part number should be a single block with 36 wire connections on it, or whether it should be 36 individual terminals in the bill of material that might be assembled on a terminal strip. We'll do a catalog lookup and select a part number. In this case, I'll just select this default Siemens part number, and then we'll decide whether it should be on every terminal, so 36 of them would show up in the bill of material, or whether I only want it on the first terminal, so we'd only have one part number showing up in the bill of material report. Finally, we'll select the terminal symbol to use. You can set up and create your own custom terminals, of course, just like with any other AutoCAD electrical application, and the text here describes how those would work, whether we have a horizontal or vertical orientation, and whether we're going to be forward or reversed terminals uh, setups, and whether you want to have different graphics for the beginning and end of the terminal strip. AutoCAD Electrical will manage that those three different terminals, start, middle, and end, for you automatically if the symbols are available. Then we simply pick an insertion point in our drawing and the terminal strip is built and placed. Again, you can see there's different terminals used for the beginning and the middle and the end of the terminal strip. Here's the reverse first. If we look at the one in the middle, you can see it's just a simple reverse terminal. And finally, the one at the end has the last suffix. So again, electrical is providing that automation for you with the three different terminals. Once the terminal strip is inserted, we can now alter the terminal strip and edit it very easily and quickly. Going again to the Insert Terminal Flyout, we'll select Retag Component Terminals and select all of the terminals in the drawing. Here we can change the terminal strip tag name. We'll make some adjustments here. We'll change the terminal strip tag name to TB and change the location to P203, pointing out that this is a manual retag. We're changing the terminals in the panel layout drawing this does not automatically update the schematic. You have to use other tools to do that. You can see the change that took place, TB and P203, not only on the first terminal, but if we check one of the terminals in the middle, you'll see that it has also been changed. Basically, we've changed all of the components on the terminal strip in a very quick and easy fashion. If you need to change the terminal numbers, we also have tools enabled to help you with that as well. Selecting again from our flyout, we select renumber terms, select a master terminal to drive this, so I'll pick the very first one, and you can see there it's the numbering, the terminal strip tag name, and the location. We'll change those last three terminals to go 44, 45, and 46. Now we just pick the each individual terminal and they've been renumbered for you. So in this video we've shown you how to quickly insert a terminal strip, edit the terminal strip changing the tag and location codes on all the terminals, and even renumbering the terminal strip.